I'm Hallie, this is Macklemore, hip hop artist, songwriter, and avid golfer. Now we're playing a very, very serious competition. The rules are simple. A point for a fairway, a point for a green, a point for an up and down, three points for a birdie, and of course a million points for a hole in one. You have bogey boys golf balls. We'll give you an extra two points off the, off the first That's tee just for about. that. I needed it. <laughs> Macklemore, you're on the tee. That was solid. A little, little snappy, a little snappy. You've played in the Pebble Beach Pro-Am, so I have to ask, what is more nerve wracking, teeing it up in front of thousands of people or playing a sold out concert? 100% uh, teeing up in front of not only thousands of people, I would say teeing it up in front of two random strangers you get paired with. That is more nerve wracking. But you know, for the Pro-Am last year, mm -hmm. It almost helped because there's, people were so chill. Yeah. You know, you like duff a chip and they're just like, oh, it's all, you know, yeah. you ham it up and <laughs> you realize no one really cares. The only tree on the hole. Can we move that tree? <laughs> Can we move Strike the tree? Strike it. I didn't really come here to lay up. I came here to hit a three wood into that water directly in front no, of us. No, 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 no. Well, three wood in the morning, boys, come on. Woo! Exactly how you drew it up. Oh my God. When did your love affair with golf begin? You know, it was Thanksgiving 2018. And I got peer pressure to go out and play after Thanksgiving. Didn't want to go, no desire, thought, okay, I'll play nine holes. I eventually got into a fairway bunker, grabbed a five iron, which I really didn't know anything about, and hit it pure out of the sand. And that feeling was just like, oh my God, I want that again every day. Closest to the pin, a point? So you're obviously a very busy guy. How often do you get to play golf? I have, I have a life and a job, and now I'm just a dad who plays golf as much as possible. Um, three times a week, usually, is my go-to. It's my goal. Um, sometimes four, sometimes two. You know, I don't have a marker here, and I would never do this in real life. But I'm going to pick up my ball, and I'm going to clean it. I'm not going to mark it. It's the first time I've ever done this since yesterday. Ooh. They're fast. Oh. Uh. All right. Good. Good, good. Good, 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 good. Yeah, you didn't even need me to give that to you. <laughs> How many points do you have? You, I have three. 19, 20. 20. 20. <laughs> 22, I don't. 23 points. <laughs> Close to the pin, one, and three then. Green and red. So two. Two points. All right, we're on the second hole. You have four points, I have two points, but a million points are up for grabs because we're on a par three. Hole in one. Stuffs it. All oh, right, at it. Go in million points. Sit. Million points. Sit. Okay, wait. Before we leave the tee, you said you've never hit left-handed. Oh wow. I'll wow. hit right-handed. I'll hit right-handed. You hit left-handed. Oh my. I don't even. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Okay, so that's normal. Yeah, I'm like, I'm just trying to figure out this grip thing right-handed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like how I would imagine my mom would look playing golf. No offense, mom. I'm sure you could smack a hybrid if you played. Oh my God, that was so solid. I mean, to be completely honest, like that could happen right-handed. Okay. 
Yep. Green Go. rag. Go. Get up there. Get up there. Yeah, we're oh, giving that to you. Just short. We're giving it to you. You know, and a lot of people they use music to help them with their rhythm. Is that any is that something that you do on the golf course? Maybe I should. <laughs> Please don't make me uh get out of the bunker no, left here. No bunker. Has golf inspired you creatively at all? I think that golf is It takes so much mental focus mm -hmm. and spiritual patience. The music industry can be so narcissistic. You know, you're just thinking about yourself and the music and how it's going to get out and the touring and it's just like, which isn't really creativity. That's like the business side of it. But the business side can really affect the creativity. For me, I've always been about just making art. That's the best place. But then the, that can infiltrate the mind, all the other things. To get out on a golf course and to just be present. Literally, I do not think about anything else except the shot that I'm about to hit and really probably like the gap wedge that I just missed from 100 yards or whatever yeah. it is. Uh -huh. But I'm here in the moment and I'm not thinking about my career. I'm not thinking about you know, an album cycle or a tour that's about to go on sale or anything. It's just present. And I love that part of it. Go, 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 go. Ooh, <laughs> good putt. Thank you. Good putt. Is that good? You know what? Yep, okay. that's good. Okay, thanks. Sit. Just blows it Sit. by. You know, I'm used to these Northwest greens mm. in the winter. <laughs> Look how fast they are! From a birdie to a double. That's good, that's good. We'll give that to you. All right, Macklemore, 5-3, one hole to go. You're on the tee. Am I on the tee? You're on the tee. I'm on the tee. How? Oh. Fairway? Is that a fairway? <laughs> it counts. You know, a bounce back and yeah. uh, it, it was, Hooking very hard, but a fairway is a fairway. Oh no. Get the tree, get the tree. Hit the tree. Huh? Maybe. All right. Should we hit mulligans on this hole? I love a mulligan. Okay, we're hitting mulligans. I love a mulligan. <laughs> there it is. Let's talk about style. Who has the best style, past or present? I am more of an old school fan. Okay. I like, um, in terms of style, Arnold Palmer, Payne Stewart, um, Lee Trevino, Ben Hogan. I, I think that there's something that was, there was originality. There's something about the classic nature of golf, the tartans, the plaids, the, the cardigans. There was something very iconic about past eras that I yeah. think is a little bit, I don't know, it's a little bit lost right now. Which is why I started my own golf clothing brand. Bogey Boys? Bogey Boys, yes. Amazing, we're gonna hit this shot, ideally close to the hole, and then we're gonna talk about that. That's a green. When was the moment that you said, hey, I wanna start my own golf clothing line? very soon after I started playing golf. Um, yeah, going into the pro shop, I'd be like, what can I buy here? Like these polos all look the same, pants all look the same, very similar colors. I wanna be original on a golf course. I wanna stand out. I wanna wear something that I can obviously, you know, performing on the golf course, but also have some flair, have some originality, have some personality. I don't want to look like everybody else. And you mentioned that you drew some inspiration from Ben Hogan, Lee Trevino, Payne Stewart. A little birdie told me that you flipped through some old issues of Golf Digest for some inspiration. Oh, I have stacks and stacks of old Golf Digest. 
I have ordered probably 50 different Golf Digest from the past on eBay. What's one word that would describe a person that would wear bogey boys? I think bogey boys is originality. We had this template of what a golfer is supposed to look like in 2021. Mm -hmm. And I just think that there's, there's more out there. There's more personality to be shown. You know, I'm thinking it's gonna be fast. Yeah. And I'm scared. Beautiful putt. We'll give that to you. Really? Yeah. Oh, God. You are nice. Is it going to break? Turn, it's not going to break. Okay, how about this? If I make it, I get something from the Bogey Boys line. I love that. Okay. Let's go. Never a doubt. Let's go. Never a doubt. Macklemore, that was great. Thank you very much. We learned a lot about each other in golf. We did. And that's what it's all about. Yeah. All right. Let me get, get me my, my bogey yeah. boys gear. Let me get you your gear. This is for you. I feel like it would go with your outfit I know. Too. I'm going to put it on. How does it look? It looks fantastic. Looks good. Let me get a little collar here. A little collar. Yeah. It's good. Got bogey boys in the back. Yeah, there, we to it. there we go. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.